This is your love reading for the month of September. This is for Taurus. Single, sun, moon, rising. Um, some people like to watch for their Venus. Personally, I think the moon signs are most accurate. So if you don't know your moon sign, look in the description box below and there's a link to um, a website that'll just tell you what it is if you input your information. And then this is also if you're interested in a Taurus. So maybe you're spying on them. Totally fine. Here's the deets. So how are you seeing yourself, Taurus, in the month of September? They have a lot to say. <laughs> um, okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm eating my hair. Excuse me while I eat my hair instead of doing your reading. My apologies. Okay, here we go. So in the month of September, now I want you guys to remember that this is a retrograde, so the energies are kind of weird. Um, so it's all about having fun, having a good time, um, investing in yourself, like big positive changes are coming because of things that you've done, you know, over the last year, especially over the last three months, attitudes that you've adopted, you're excited about it. Something's not fair though. And so it's um, kind of worrying you. So I don't know if it's just outside circumstances in general, if it's the way that people are treating you, but it's just like, you know, things aren't fair. And that does bother you. But if you have this hopeful, optimistic attitude, that's great. Like, that will be a blessing for you. You don't have to defend what you're doing. Um, just don't go over the deep end and be too wild and crazy. Now, just like I said, it is a Mercury retrograde, so it's very possible that people from your past are going to show up in your life. So this could be exes. This could be friends. This could be family members, people you haven't talked to for a long time. What, what kind of impact does that have, though, in regards to what we're talking about here? It's just like sometimes things that you've invested in outside of yourself, like in other people, um, relationships and such, they do take time to pay off, but it's totally worth it when they do. Um, it's like things balance out. So right now, they're a little bit imbalanced. Right now, things don't seem fair, but over the longer term, they will. And so what does this have to do with love? It depends on who's watching the video. Unfortunately, that's the hard thing about doing general readings. But here we go. How do you see yourself? They're like, you're not really seeing yourself. You might not be entirely self-reflecting, but that's okay in this meantime. Um, they're like, you know what, over time, it's, it's gonna be fine. Like you're learning your lessons. You had a rough year, I think it was last year. So nobody's blaming you for this. How are others seeing you? Um, well, they're seeing you kind of at a fork in the road, like you could go this way or that way. It reminds me of a Gemini, like you always have the choice to be the good twin or the evil twin. <laughs> and so they're trying to offer you love and support and whether or not you want to take it is a different story. Um, but others are there wanting to offer you love. It just not, might not be, you know, what you expected or what you had thought that you wanted. Um, some of these people are actually liars. So you're making the right decision, you know, when somebody says, hey, don't you want to go out? Don't you want to give this a try? Especially if it was someone from your past and you're like, eh, I don't really think so. Okay. So what should you be avoiding this month, Taurus? Um, connecting yourself or being stuck in bad patterns and situations. So this is um, any sort of addictive tendencies, like you know, especially if you're one of those tourists that are going out a lot right now, that you're partying, try to avoid drinking too much, drugs, that sort of a thing. But this is a lot of times about abusive relationships. So if people are coming back into your life and they like kind of emotionally abused you, they treated you poorly, that kind of a thing, that's something you're going to want to stay away from just because specifically in this point in time, you're more inclined to stay trapped in it for a longer amount of time. You're going to feel like you don't have options and, um, kind of like a means to exit. Now this could translate in any area of your life, but we are talking about love here. So um, if this specific message resonates for you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now what is it that you could do in order to grow love or, um, with somebody you're dating or to kind of increase the likelihood that you will attract it in the month of September? Now it's saying you have this idea of happily ever after doesn't exist and you kind of like believe it very strongly or at least the version of it that you had before in your mind it, it's not the same way that you thought about it as a child or as a teen and so um right now thinking about passion and lovers and that kind of a thing when offers are coming in 
um, is actually okay. Because maybe, you know, what you pictured to be the perfect life, you're realizing over this last year, like, that might not be exactly what I want or what's good for me. So the more that you're focused on attracting a mate who is um, passionate or sexy in a certain way or exciting, that's going to be the best thing for you. And I feel like some of the offers that have come through for you recently haven't been the most exciting, exhilarating offers. And so that's kind of why you're more inclined to sit back like this. Like attraction is going to be very, very important in the month of September, like physical attraction. Um, and not necessarily the way somebody looks, but like the way they tell jokes or something like that, that makes you want to hit it. Okay. So what's working for you in the month of September in regards to love your own honesty? Fantastic. Um, and the fact that, you know, if you're not overflowing with love or joy when you're around a person, you're kind of honest about that. You're like, you know what? I don't think I want to continue to do this. And that's exactly the attitude to have. This is such a Taurus card. I often use this card to depict an Aries. Um, but Taurus has a very similar energy where it's like they're very much in control and they know what they want. And so that is super working for you because you're not going to fuck around and waste time with people who are just not for you. And that's fine. And if you are, if you are going to take a lover, you're going to be very honest about that. Like this is short lived. Like I just want to, I just want to hit it and quit it. And so um, you're not so inclined to get embroiled in a really nasty, unhealthy relationship with that devil card, unless it's somebody you have history with from the past. So um, they say, yeah, you see everything exactly as it is. When the moon card is this way, it's saying, you know what, there's some things here that you're not thinking about, that you're not seeing. Like the whole truth isn't there, but but when it's reversed, it's actually a more positive thing saying, wait, you, you get it, you know. Okay, so what is working against you in the month of September? Well, at times you might feel hopeless. Like you're not really manifesting anything in specific um, using the law of attraction. So these offers come in and you're like, no, no, no. But the key is to ask yourself when you're like, no, I don't want that. What do you want? Right? Think about that. What do I want? In contrast and write it down. Keep a note every time you think about it, like write it in the same notebook so that you review what you read and then you can kind of pull that in. Because seeing in the past, relationships have been a little unbalanced. Like maybe you give more emotionally or spiritually or financially, and you don't get the same thing back. And so um, they're like, that has to end, and you know it. So instead of thinking about, I don't want a relationship where I'm taking taken advantage of, you want to write down, I am um, so happy that I'm attracting a balanced relationship. A relationship that is fair, where both parties participate, where they both give each other the same amount of attention or whatever. Um, and they're like, and then just be patient and wait for it. So what is the lesson that you are learning in the month of September in regards to love, Taurus? And it says detachment. <laughs> I feel like, you know how this is really common for men when they get a divorce? For a little while, they go on this like wild spree. Where they just want to like fuck everybody and be detached and see what's out there. And then they'll come back to like wanting to be um, in a committed, more stable relationship. But they kind of just like wreak havoc for a little bit to find themselves again because a lot of their identity was in that relationship. So um, I feel like some of you kind of have, not all of you, but some of you kind of have that right now where... It's just like, whoa, go out, see the world, live it up, do things that are kind of crazy or uncharacteristic for a little bit, and then come back to center and balance. So your lesson is detachment. And so you're releasing these old patterns and ideas that don't serve your highest ideals of love. And so what you're doing and where you're at right now, even though it could be a little bit challenging, is exactly where you're supposed to be. So fantastic. Good on you, Taurus. Okay. So what's the overall outcome in regards to love in September? And they're like new, passionate, exciting relationships could totally be there. I wouldn't be surprised if they're with a fire sign, um, especially a Leo. <laughs> and it's saying that, you know, even if it's not what you want in the long term, it's totally worth doing, though, um, just to have that experience of what is fun and exciting to help you get clear in your mind about what it is that you want. They're like, go ahead, be super selfish this month. 
um, be discerning because you're pretty balanced in other areas of your life at this point in time. Like, even though not everything is perfect, you've kind of gotten into a good routine and routine is so important for earth signs anyway. So maybe you never lost it, but what they're saying is that fun has to be there. And so even though it might not be deep love, even though it might only be attraction this month, it's still worth doing. Um, yeah, it could be a little bit dramatic if you're not honest about what you're seeking. But if you're fair, they're like, there's no reason why you need to change what you're doing, at least in the month of September. So I hope you found that helpful. Love and light. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat. Like on Facebook.